Well, we saw the busy scenes at Ford Field as more and more people are getting vaccinated, but lots of people still have questions about the vaccines and the virus. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is back with answers to a fresh batch of viewer questions submitted to us on clickondetroit.com. Hey, Kimberly. Yeah, so Paula asks, I'm allergic to aspirin. Is the vaccine safe to take with this allergy? The answer, Paula, is yes, it is. You may be asked to wait for 30 minutes, though, after your shot instead of the standard 15, just to be extra cautious. But an aspirin allergy should not pose any issue with the vaccine. Now, here are some more of your questions. Daryl asks, my question is about the COVID-19 vaccination record card. If I make a copy of the card to keep as a backup in case I lose the original, will it be accepted as proof of vaccination? Would I still need to get a new proof of vaccination card? A copy is a good idea, but keep in mind that the purpose of the vaccination card is to remind people which vaccine they received and when. It isn't considered an official document for anything more than casual proof of vaccination. A viewer asks, as a heavy man, should I get a third dose, not booster, to ensure I have adequate amount of vaccine in my blood? No, there is no adjustment of the dose or additional doses recommended if someone is above their ideal body weight. Janelle asks, I had COVID in December through January. Very mild case. A co-worker has contracted COVID recently. Can I get it again or could I carry it to spread to others? For people who have been infected, studies estimate that you should remain immune for at least three months. However, if you develop any symptoms, get tested. Carol asks, my daughter says there is a study out that reports that the COVID-19 vaccine shot only provides a six-month immunity. Is that information true? The answer is no. We actually don't know exactly how long protective immunity from the vaccines will last. That's mainly because the vaccines only began their larger scale trials in the later part of last year. Data on long term efficacy is still being collected. Now, finally, D asks, my daughter got a Ford Field appointment for the vaccine. She'll be in Florida at the time of the second shot and will be home four days later. I know you said four days early is okay, but what about four days late? So D, the answer is four days early or four days late are both acceptable. In fact, the CDC has said the second shot can be given as long as six weeks from the first, although that's definitely not ideal. A word of warning though, Make sure that your daughter's second appointment is scheduled for a time that she actually can make it. We've actually heard from several people who have missed their second shot appointments who are now having a lot of trouble getting those rescheduled. Yeah. Back to you. Some really, really good questions, Dr. McGeorge, and important reminders as well. We really appreciate it.